Hello and welcome back to Etec Hunting. We're out here on a brand new farm today. We've got the Wildcat BT Compact. We're going to go out and enjoy it and see what we can do here. There's loads of pigeons around, so sit back and enjoy. So we are getting ready now. We've got the Wildcat BT Compact, um, the bottle version. The reason for that is it's a new farm, so we don't know what we're going to find here or what the scenario is going to be here. So I'm just taking a gun that's easy to carry, small, compact and lightweight so that we can just uh, concentrate on getting the job done. And we're going to shoot the 21 grain javelin with it. And uh, yeah, just going to walk around, explore the area, see where the problem areas are. I've already spotted a few and then we take it from there. All right, we are done and it's ready to head out. So let's see what we can find. We headed straight to the middle of the farm complex because that's where we noticed most of the activity. We also sent the drone up to get a feeling for what is around us so that we can make sure we have open areas and therefore safe backdrops in the direction we are going to shoot in. We immediately found a good spot and Maggie was getting ready for the first shot. Yay! Uh, down he goes. Down awesome. he goes and there's more in the room. <laughs> yeah. The first shot goes straight through the spine and he goes down on the back of the roof. Maggie then immediately had a second opportunity, but we got interrupted. Right, we've got a tractor coming by. We are guests on the farm and we respect that it is a work environment for many. So we always wait and let them do their work first. Luckily, the pigeon stayed put and Maggie could continue with her shot. Good. Yeah, just look, look at all those fine. pigeons, huh? This one goes through the vitals and down he goes. I'm a bit short, so I'm not... Okay, let me take the shot if you're yeah. a bit short on that one. Oh, this is a big boy. Oh, right in the back of the neck, 48 meters, down he goes. This one connects exactly where I wanted it to go and it drops on the spot. I don't think they've been shot at before, so they're very nonchalant to what's going on, so <laughs> it makes our life pretty easy. And down he goes again, also 48 meters. Unfortunately, I pulled this one a little to the left, but luckily it still made contact. 44 meters. That was pretty awesome. Yeah, so he wasn't um, turned very nicely towards me, but right at the end there, he turned his back towards me and that's where you want to, to do your point of impact. Yeah, he just went down on the roof there, 44 meters. Another one in the neck and it drops on the spot. Okay, so let's go. But there's one more. I'm going to take one more. I think that's going to be 48 again. Yeah, 48. Oh, <laughs> solid impact. 48 again. Again in the neck and it was getting a little bit too easy by now. So as I mentioned there, these pigeons have basically no idea what's going on because I don't think they've been shot at before. So they keep on coming back, sitting at the same place and it makes it quite easy but we're going to put a challenge on ourselves and just move around a bit so that we don't get the same shot all the time otherwise it's just too easy and there's no fun in that. So we're just scouting the area and there's so many pigeons. There's pigeons on the wires back there, there's pigeons on the roofs over there, in the trees. You can even see here on the roof up there, they're just sitting everywhere. Um, yeah, so this place is pretty infested. There's so many more coming out of the roof there as well. <laughs> they are everywhere. Um, but yeah, we're just scouting what is safe, what areas are safe to shoot. There's even more going out. Wow, crazy. Okay, so let's move around this corner and see what we can find on this side. Okay, so there's a lot in the tree over there. Mama! 
Ooh, down he goes. About 30 meters. Nice shot. Okay. It was <laughs> now everything is gone. This one goes straight through the off switch and Maggie almost gets a double here. The pigeons are circling now above us. We're just waiting for them to come sit down again. Oh, nice shot. These pigeons are so fat. <laughs> they eat that roof with authority. <laughs> <laughs> it's a loud fub. <laughs> there we go. This is the one Maggie just shot. I see there are some other pigeons lying around here that's already dead that we didn't shoot. So uh, maybe the farmer's son took a few out. I don't know. But this is a nice fat one. Wow. These pigeons are well, well fed. So that is why we chose the Wildcat BT today, because we don't know what we're going to find out here in the, on this farm, what obstacles we have to climb. So we have to climb a few fences here and things to get the shots. Um, so that makes a Wildcat BT such a universal, easygoing gun for this type of hunting. And it still packs a punch with those 21 grain javelins running at uh, 990 feet per second. Um, it's about 45 foot-pounds of energy, so way more than what you need. And it's also uh, safe as well, because we don't want to damage any property or anything like that. So the 21 grain is not, not destructive. Ooh, nice that's loud, loud. Fat. <laughs> Go for that second one as well. Same distance right on the roof there. Another nice one. Cool, two in a row. Two beautiful shots from Maggie from a very difficult position and she switches both of them off. So we're collecting all the pigeons that we can because we want to donate them to the falconeers. I do however see that there is a lot of dead pigeons on the property already. They're half eaten, rotten and things like that. So I think somebody has been shooting here a little bit. Probably the, the farmer's son. But yeah, these are, these are nice fat pigeons for the falcons to eat. The Wildcat BT is just my go-to gun. It's the one gun that if I have to choose a gun out of my cupboard, this is the one I go for because it's so universal in what it can do. It packs a lot of power, it's compact, short. It's just a, a very good all-rounder. And if you're looking to buy your first air gun, I would highly recommend this one. This is a very good beginner gun as well. Um, it just does everything that you need it to do so and it works and it's easy to to move around with it was time for us to find a new spot and after a quick walk we found another hot spot infested with pigeons this farm had no shortage of that good spot to shoot them from ah by the way let's go for another one oh down he goes 34 meters. Over another one. And down he goes as well. Another 34. Okay, Maggie, you can do the next one. This was two textbook shots right through the off switch, and I only realized afterwards that this pigeon only had one leg. Pretty weird. Right, so I got two. I'm gonna hand the gun to Maggie now. Same spot, more or less. So just go in the middle over here, that's about 34, kind of styled for that. Oh, nice. Oh, nicked him. Let's go for him again. Oh, nice follow-up shot. Maggie impacts the first shot perfectly and he goes down. The second one she pulls to the right and nicks him through the wing and crop area. She then follows up with another perfect shot right through the back, straight through the crop and revealing all the feet this pigeon has been eating. Just look at it scattering around. Okay, my turn again. Same roof. Let's get it done. Oh, 
Oh, dead on the spot. Down he goes. Oh. Oh, I need to do a follow-up shot. <laughs> Yeah, that's dead. I can't believe this is almost an exact copy as Maggie's previous run. I dropped the first one on the spot. The second one I pull to the left and nick him through the wing. And then the third shot goes straight through the pigeon, also exploding his crop and all the feet go scattering again. Okay, Maggie's turn again. I think we're gonna get a little bit of a decoy situation going on over here because we've got one, two, three, four, five down on the roof already. No, six, six down. So we're gonna leave them there a little bit, see if the others come and sit there and yeah, carry on. I think we've got some more over there. Let's go. Ah, so we're gonna move to this side of the farm again. Got a few on the wire over there. Upon arrival, Maggie realized she's too short for the poles. So she handed the gun back to me. Want me to shoot them? Yep. <laughs> okay, that'll work. Solidly in the off switch. Down he goes, 34 meters. 30 meters with these guns is nothing. Oh, I've got another one there. I'm just going to use my hand as a support here, push the bag against the pole and then shoot him like that. And down he goes, and there's another one. This one is probably about 38. Ah, there he flies away. Okay. Well, we got two down from there. Ah, oh, got a starling. Even better. And down goes the starling. Awesome. <laughs> I get another perfect impact on this pigeon and the javelin reveals the contents of his crop again. And then the starling was just the bonus. It's always nice to get them. Okay, Maggie's up next. This one on the ground here for her. Uh, I think you're gonna have to follow up on that one. Oh, oh down he goes. Four meters. Nice. Maggie aims a little off center here and hits him in the wing, but she follows up with a good shot and puts him down. All right, so we're back at the truck. We're quickly gonna fill the gun and fill the magazines again. Um, yeah, Maggie really struggles sometimes with her length because <laughs> sometimes the poles are just out of reach and she has to tippy-toe and that makes her a little bit unstable. But she does very well with it anyway. And yeah, she just followed up with a, a second shot there and got him down. It is pretty easy to fill the wildcat and we were quickly on our way again. There we go, gun is filled, magazines are filled and we're heading to our decoy site, site now to see if there's anything there. Our decoy site has nothing. Okay, so there was nothing on the decoy site but we moved around the corner from it and we found a few on the roof over there. Haha, <laughs> and down he goes. Awesome, nice loud fat. An easy shot for Maggie and she makes short work of him. Uh, so after Maggie shot that one, we have one on our decoy site. So I think go for him. Now if I remember correctly, that was about 34 meters. Oh. Nice one. Dead on the spot. Now the decoy spot is working. Just look at all those pigeons on there now. Just look at that. So many of them. Okay, let's go for one here with his back towards me. Ah, uh, something scared them. It's all right, got another one. And he's dead. 34 meters.
<laughs> gonna do a follow up on him. And he's dead. Awesome. I pull this one to the right, but if you look closely, you can see the flattened slug bouncing around on the roof. And this is why we use the non-destructive lightweight 21 grain javelin. The last thing we want to do is damage property. And down he goes. Awesome. The other advantage of the 21 grain javelin is massive expansion. Just look at how this crop bursts out to the left just amazing okay so we've got what one two three four five six seven eight nine on the roof there it's quite a lot and these are just sitting and watching <laughs> i have no idea what's going on okay i think we've got enough for today we don't want to shoot too many today uh, we still want to come back here and shoot more <laughs> i think uh, it's getting too hot now anyway sun is beating down on us and I can actually feel my sun getting oh, my skin getting burnt a little bit and I have to wear my cap like this now I usually turn it around because I struggle to use the scope with the cap this way around yeah I think that's it for today we really enjoyed it Wildcat BT performed excellently again it's just such a joy to shoot with this gun as I said it makes life so much easier than having a heavy long gun with you it just works so these are the ones that we could collect and um, we're going to take those home with us and donate them well that is it we are done for the day the wildcat bt performed excellently again it's an awesome permission so many pigeons so we really enjoyed it i hope you did as well if you did hit the like button remember to subscribe and then we'll see you next time cheers <laughs>